Hey guys, so we made it to Idaho. We got here last night, pretty late. Um, we decided just to drive around in glass, last few minutes of light, didn't end up seeing anything, and then made camp and went to bed. So no video for yesterday, but today will be day one. We have a full week here, um, and if we're not able to get it done in a week, Jake can come back next week as well. Anyways, um, so this is opening morning for us. It's like the fourth day of the season. Um, there is a lot of pressure in the area that we're at, but uh, it looks like they're all four-wheelers and uh, horseback riders, so hopefully they're not getting off, getting too far off the trail. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hike up this steep ridge across the, across the creek that we're camped at um, to start off the day and get up top and then uh, try to find something up there, you know? There's a, a lot of open country up there that doesn't have trails or roads running through it, so that's our hope is that we can uh, get to that area and uh, kill something. That's the plan. Anyways, so we will get back at you guys once we start going up and uh, wish us luck. Jake's got a wolf spotted. Where's that, Jake? On top of that ridge. I'm on top of that ridge over there. I'm in the back of the pack. <clears throat> there he is, there he is. He's on, he's on top of the ridge. He's on top of the ridge. He's in bed down. What? He's on the very top of the ridge. He's walking. You see him right now. He's out in the open. See him? Yep. Smoked him. Okay, he stopped right. He stopped right from where he was. You didn't hit him. Okay? Do you see him? He's yep. right of where he was. Got him, got him! You piled him up! You- Dude, you got a wolf! <laughs> Frick yeah! <sighs> Sorry guys, we didn't get the phone scope set up. There was a pack of wolves up there on that point. <laughs> Jake has a wolf tag, so he smoked one. A black wolf, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There was a whole pack up there, and Jake just smoked one. <sighs> oh my gosh, Jake. You got a wolf, dude. I got a wolf second shot at six, seven hundred yards. Dude, you're gonna have a taxidermist bill. I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Sorry I didn't get on video. I got the sh him shooting on video, but. <sighs> I was trying to locate him and then he just happened to step out in the open. I couldn't see the gray ones because they blended right in, but um, that black one stood out. He was skylined. How far was shot, Jake? 700 yards. Seven hundo. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Dude, that second shot, mid-body, piled him up. Yeah, I saw my he went first right shot hit right he below bit, him. He bit at it like a coyote and piled up over the ridge. That is freaking unreal. Look at, whoa. We'll start heading up to it soon. We're gonna see if uh, we can find another one. I do have a wolf tag as well, so. Um, hopefully we can find another one. I might jump a buck on the way up there too. Alright guys, so we gotta hike up to that ridge. Our wolf is dead. <laughs> and uh we're gonna go get him. Um Bad news is is Jake and I 
have never killed a wolf before, so we've never skinned a wolf or <laughs> anything, so it's gonna be a hack job. <laughs> We're gonna do the best we can, though. I've um, skinned a coyote, so it should be pretty close to the same. Um, but we know the general rules about how to do it, just like anything else, so. It's a little bit of a hike, probably about, it's gonna be about an hour's hike over there. Um, but he should be piled right up there. Big black wolf. Oh, nothing is better than that. Oh. Except for a big muley. Oh. Right after this, we're on the way over. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill some muleys after this, obviously, because we saved a few. But um, yeah, we're gonna head up there, we're gonna pack everything up and get going. Frank, we were we were camped a thousand yards underneath the wolf pack. <laughs> if that doesn't give you the heebie-jeebies, I don't know what does. The old 300 did it though. Jake's a Brownie X Bolt 300 wind mag, and that's what he did it with. Just in case you're wondering, Vortex Viper PST scope. If you shoot a 300, shoot a 200 grain bullet with the Hornady ELDX. I've never shot better with any other round, so. This gun in this round is amazing. All right guys, see you in a minute. Guys, there he is piled up. Probably can't see him because it's so dark. Maybe 50 yards from where I shot him. <laughs> Took us about an hour to get up here because we were trying to find other wolves and deer. But uh, kind of Jake's first wolf. Yeah, piled up. There he is. Let's go get him, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy crap. Jake, what did you do? Oh, that's good. That's unreal. Not very big. Not huge. But it's a wolf. Open day Idaho for us. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's gonna be a beautiful rug. Great job, buddy. There it is. How do you feel? Oh, <laughs> stoked, dude. I can't believe it. Heck yeah. Oh, I got a wolf. Uh, unbelievable. We got a wolf. First day here? Yep. First day. Nice black and gray. Yep. He's pretty. Look how Look at those big paws. Those paws are. Holy crap. Your German Shepherd ain't got nothing on him. No. Oh, look at those teeth. teeth. Alright guys, there she is. We did a whole bunch of b-roll and photos and stuff. Now we're gonna take care of her. She's stinky, old yeah. stinky. We learned that, stinkier than a dog. <laughs> um, but she's a pretty coat. She's gonna look great on the wall, green mm -hmm. and black. Oh, just pretty, pretty dog. Um, My first wolf, so. Yeah, first wolf. Hell, I don't even know how to age wolves. Probably two or three years old. I don't know. I don't know. Those teeth she's are got plenty big. Big old teeth on her. Anyways, so we're gonna try to take care of her. We'll try to do some uh, butyl sequences and whatnot, overlaying that, and uh, we'll put her on the back and keep hunting mule deer until it gets too hot, and then we'll drop down into camp and take care of it. Should be good. All right, guys. Correction. Jake obviously can't tell between boy and girl, but we checked again. It's a boy. It's a male. <laughs> but, yeah, so he's notching his tag now, and then we're going to
break her down, skin her up. Um, we don't really uh, have an interest in trying wolf meat. We're more in it for the um, conservation and preservation of other wildlife by taking out predators. So um, we're not going to take any wolf meat home. It's, we don't really want to eat a dog. Um, yeah, same thing as like killing a coyote. So we'll get her all uh, done up. There's Jake notching his tag. October 14th, 2019. What a year so far. All right, guys, we are almost done with skinning him. Got the other side done. And he's got the rear leg on this side, and then got to detach the head. And we'll be rolling up and getting out of here. We've been at it for about 30 minutes so far, but uh, almost done. There it is, wolf cape all done. Be a pretty, pretty rug. Pull that out. <laughs> pretty, pretty dog. Good job, brother. Thanks, man. Alright, you load them up on the Everly Stock X2 pack. There he is. Just like that. Full grown male wolf on a pack. I love those straps. Yeah. 